Well, well, thank surprised. you, everyone. I just want to say thank you guys for the invitation. Uh, I'm just going to hop off. I just finished two cases. I'm, I'm going to try to wrap up my day here at the VA. Uh, but have a, you know, rest of you know, enjoy the rest of your night. And uh, feel free to, you know, reach out to Maddie or, or me with any questions down the line. We absolutely will. I'm sure there'll be all sorts of follow up. Thank you so much. No problem. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Now, am I sharing? I don't think I'm going to share you. Hold on. Uh, let's see. So many, so many things here. Share screen. Share. Share. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my God. This is good. I, wanna, I, I went to college for computers for a reason, I guess. All right. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, okay, my name is Wendy DeMarc Wanafried. I'm a professor at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and it's so good to be here today. My presentation is going to be far uh, less, um, unless I get a lot of questions, uh, but I only have five slides. So I'm here to talk about a program that we call Amplify. Uh, it is a free online program to learn about lifestyles. And it is in, uh, uh, in the context of a research study. It's funded by the National Cancer Institute. And the goal of this program is really to discover which programs and which ordering is really important for presenting uh, healthy lifestyle uh, information to cancer survivors, not only prostate cancer survivors, but all kinds of cancer survivors. So uh, Amplify uses the latest research for, to help uh, cancer survivors lose weight, to improve their health. Uh, it's a year-long program, and through weekly 15-minute sessions, uh, cancer survivors can learn how to eat healthier, move better, and lose weight. Uh, and I know that there are some of you, like Steve out there, that have already drinking the Kool-Aid uh, and are already healthy. But for those of you that aren't or know people that might benefit from this program, uh, I hope that you will uh, either consider it or pass it on. Next slide, please. So the one of the hallmarks of the Amplify program is to is weight management. And you may ask yourself, well, why is a healthy weight so important? Uh, and the reason is, is that the data show that men that, are, that have uh, obesity at the time of diagnosis, they have a 34% increased risk of dying from, uh, from prostate cancer than men who are of normal weight. Uh, and once more, men that gain weight after their diagnosis, for every BMI unit they go up, their, their risk of dying from prostate cancer and dying overall is 20% higher. So that's pretty, uh, those are bad statistics. And so that's why weight management is very important. Uh, however, weight management's a little bit different after you have cancer. Uh, and the, one of the reasons is, is that uh, oftentimes with cancer, there's a loss of lean muscle mass. There are hormonal changes. There are some barriers with regard to either medication or treatment that we have to overcome and, and really provide guidance in those areas for physical activity as well as diet. Next slide, please. So um, Amplify follows the guidelines that are set up by two governing organizations. And the two organizations that make guidelines for cancer survivors are the World Cancer Research Fund, uh, American Institute of Cancer Research, as well as the American Cancer Society. And at the, um, at the very top of this, these recommendations are these recommendations for a healthy weight, weight management followed by physical activity, which is something that my, one of my colleagues on the phone, Sammy Mansfield is an expert in, but we also provide uh, education in that area. And then also to eat a healthy diet. Now, what does that mean? Eating a diet that's rich in whole grains, vegetables, and fruits, and lower in red meats, processed meats, sugary uh, foods and refined foods. So that's what our goal is for Amplify. And then also to watch alcohol consumption, limiting, limiting it to two drinks a day if you're a man. Um, next slide, please. Yeah, and obviously weight is here at the top. So 
um, take a moment and find out what your weight status is by tracing down the very uh, left-hand column and find your height and then trace over uh, where your weight falls on this chart. And if your weight falls on the green zone, that's great, fantastic. Kudos uh -oh. to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> If your weight zone is in the yellow, well, that means you got to really kind of shove it more toward the left-hand side. Um, and then if you, it's in the red zone, that means that's a, that is a risk, a high risk weight. So um, if you are in the yellow zone uh, or in the red zone, please see us at Amplify because uh, we probably can help you get that weight shunted down a bit. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, and so what are the details on, on Amplify? Amplify is an intervention that could be done anywhere because it's virtual. Uh, so we do recruit anybody in the United States, then in the continental United States. We do not hit Alaska or Hawaii because we have to send <laughs> Um, uh, the uh, scales, pedometers, exercise bands to our participants and postage is extreme. And again, this is funded by the National Cancer Institute, which really doesn't have that deep of pockets. So um, uh, uh, it is totally free, however, there's no special foods. Uh, it is again, a year long program where you log on 15 to 20 minutes a week and you take a session and then we provide support for that. It is a clinical trial. So that means you are randomized. And so the one uh, men that come into this program or cancer survivors that come into this program, they are randomized to one of three protocols. They either get the diet section first, followed by the exercise, the exercise first, followed by the diet, or a combined intervention that goes over the whole 48 weeks. Uh, and then we also have an optional Facebook group. Um, the, the QR code is right there if you want to scan more, and then that will take you to um, the, the website where you can learn more information. And I can take any questions now about diet, physical activity, or about the Amplify trial. I have a question. I uh, just took a uh, hormone therapy Nuprone shot about a month and a half ago. And some of the side effects are... Uh, Thinking. Uh, lack of muscle mass, uh, better chance of having osteoporosis. And, uh, that that is true. That yeah, um, hormonal therapy has many benefits uh, as far as cancer control goes, but it has some uh, significant down you know downsides, which is the the sarcopenia the loss of muscle mass, loss of bone mass. And that's, um, uh, and then it also does tend to um, manifest in weight gain as well. So uh, it, uh, that doesn't mean that those things are inevitable, but you have to really work hard uh, with a lot of, um, uh, by, you know, watching your caloric intake and then also doing strength training exercise as well as aerobic exercise to, um, to get mm -hmm. the, um, the, the muscle um, building uh, benefits uh, and get that uh, and stop uh, the loss of more muscle. Thank you. It, 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 let me show you, Anderson. So everyone sort of knows you need to exercise and diet, but knowing it, it didn't really change anything, but if these programs, is that what the, the idea of the different parts of the trial to figure out if you help people in this way versus that way, do you get the most benefit? Is that what the different? That, uh, you know, actually the, you know, the content is quite the same and we do provide support for, um, for all, all uh, each of those groups. It's not as though they, one group has a lighter uh, dose than the other. They all have equal amounts of doses, but it is a question of ordering. 
And it is a question of information uh, pr presentation. Uh, we know that some people get very overloaded with information and they may shut down. Uh, and so this is going to, the ordering of this intervention and the presentation of the information is going to give us some idea of how much information a, a cancer survivor can take in and actually use. But you're right. Uh, information is information. We all know that eating healthy and exercising and weight control are important. Doing it, however, is hard. And so therefore, um, Amplify offers tips of the day. We do monitor, we provide constant feedback. So it's that kind of support that oftentimes is what people need to stay on yeah. the straight and narrow. So if, if, if they enroll, would, would they share with you what they're eating and then you could provide feedback on specifics to their diets and stuff? We, yeah, we do. We get, ta we get tailored feedback depending upon what, uh, you know, what people need to act on. Uh, some people come in and they are, uh, you know, they are vegetarians. So there's no sense in us saying, oh, well, you, you got to, you know, watch your meat intake. They're already doing it. Um, but they may have some issues with other areas. They may uh, eat a lot of, um, you know, a lot of refined carbohydrates and that sort of thing. So everybody comes in with a different, um, with different issues that they, they can um, correct over the, the course of a year. Uh, I, I sure appreciate you doing this, and I hope I hope everyone takes advantage of it because if you got cancer, making a couple little changes sounds like a really smart idea. And if you got some expert here that's like willing to take a look at it with you for free, oh my gosh! Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. bring bring you know we have about uh, about two hundred more men that we need, or not men, cancer survivors. Again, this is a program for breast cancer survivors, colorectal, um, uh, endometrial. So if you, know, it, if you are a normal weight in that green zone, uh, good for you. And we're so happy that you're I didn't you're see any you know, green over here. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're happy that you're following it. But if you have a sister that lives in Topeka, that uh, has had a diagnosis of breast cancer and uh, is a little bit over upholstered. Well, we'll uh, please pass on the word. We'd love to love to have her be part of the trial. Uh, and I say, Wendy, can I add a couple of things too? Sure, absolutely. Thank you for being on, Sammy. Yeah, you know, oh, Sammy, no, of this course. is your first time. I've been doing this 12 years and this is your first time. Well, you plan these things out like a year in advance. And I'm like, I just apparently don't know where I'm going to be. But thank you for doing this. Um, no, because so obviously, yeah, this is um, likewise, I, you know, we know that exercise, of course, and diet are important. But I want to kind of say one other thing that we've really seen. And I think that, um, you know, Steve can attest to this and many of you can attest to healthy weight and healthy lifestyle is more than just the scale and the BMI. It's function it's energy, it's living your highest quality of life. And one of the things that I love about this study and this project is that Amplify focuses on weight management, but it focuses on lifestyle and behavioral change. Um, what should a cancer survivor know, learn, and when? Because obviously we know it's good for us, so why aren't most of us doing it here on January the 4th? Um, you know, New Year, right? And I think that's one of the things that I really got excited about after Wendy and I worked together on a really big project, um, which was a long time coming with exercise recommendations and nutrition recommendations. But what we realized was you guys kind of know what to do, but the gaps are, how do I do it into my life? And, you know, I kind of want to eat red meat once in a while. I, I don't know if I want to do this kind of workout. I, I, you know, what should I do? And so this study is really essential. If I can also say one more thing, it's really easy to sign up the ladies and you men are very stubborn to do these kinds of projects. And we really need good data and good research on how to make good recommendations for the men. So this is your chance to really give back um, and pay it forward and help us help you so that we can improve your chances of survival, 
your risk of other diseases, and most importantly, your quality of life. So that's kind of my little commercial. Um, but I, I got really excited when I saw this. I've done 20 years in this profession. I'm not seeing a platform like this. So it's pretty cool. And it's free. And I think it could be really powerful. So I really encourage you to look into it and sign the, or scan the little code and go right to the website. And you can just put your information in. And one of the study coordinators can call. And, and you don't have to commit that way, but you can get more information. So I think that is all. That I just had to give my little... Right, Wendy? I love, you, Sammy. I love you, Sammy. I love you, Sammy. Thank you so much. I, um, of course. Yeah, I have to be impartial because I'm a researcher. So, so I cannot really, I, I think it's very, it's the neatest program that we've ever done so far. Uh, and, uh, but I, cool. I, have to, I have to keep arm's distance because I have to be objective. That's I why know, she asked I me. I have to be impartial. I, I have to tell you that, that, that it was, it was, somewhat diet for me but it was, it was a lot of exercise the the exercise what i learned with exercise because i didn't do it before i had cancer but what i've learned with mm -hmm. exercise you can't outrun the fork and once you start exercising <laughs> and you and you start feeling the benefits of exercise it, it, it's a it's not just physical it's mental like there's like massive benefits yeah. and and once i started getting them then i wanted to take and address the fork issues mm -hmm because I just wanted more of that good feeling. And and mm -hmm. I know how hard it is. I don't think I could have ever done it without the help of Sammy. Sammy, like literally the person like right <laughs> here on the phone did, did that for me. And here I am 12 years later and, and I'm like hooked. And like, I want all of you to, to see it because um, prostate cancer is, 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 it sucks, it's depressing. And the best thing you can do to fight the cancer coming back and to fight the depression is tight and exercise. And here it is. Here's free coaching on it. So I just I just wanted to say how great this program is and how I totally believe in it. And I'm gonna do everything I can to get as many people signed up so you have the best research so we can just keep making it better and better and better and better. Could you tell us Steve? Thank you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What happens in maybe one of the 15 to 20 minute sessions. What what happens in those self directed sessions? So in those self directed sessions, they um, they lead you through a topic. So for some of the to give you an idea of what some of those are for exercise, it may be a strength training uh, module, and it will lead you through exercises on resistance training. It may be uh, a module on grocery shopping that, uh, um, that has a video about going to the grocery store and, and what do you do when you're in, in the produce section? And what do you do when you're in the uh, whole grain section or you're trying to pick out lunch meat to make a, a, a healthier sandwich? Um, so it's it's that kind of stuff. And then it has tools that people can, um, they watch the session, they interact with it because it has kind of like, uh, are you, you know, uh, what do you choose here, A, B, or C? And then it, uh, it leads you down a path of, of providing you with tailored information. But then afterwards, like for example, the grocery shopping uh, uh, module, it would provide you with uh, a shopping list uh, uh, and uh, various like recipes that you could use, uh, meal plans, uh, that sort of thing. So that's that kind of, um, and it, if you go to the web website, you, you scan this code here, it actually has a little video that leads you through what one of those sessions, what, well, kind of leads you through what the, what the program is more about. So I hope that you take a look at it and, and see if it's for you. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to check out the video while, while I was listening to you. I've got it up here, but I, I just came out of the gym before I came here, but I struggle with the diet of trying to watch processed things and sugars a little bit more. I mean, I, I, I just recently had a prostatectomy, so we've got a freezer full of beef i'm probably not going to throw that away just because i don't want to eat a lot of red no. meat and, and i live in kansas city so it's probably 
partially going on this. I got an address. Just... I can swing by. <laughs> <laughs> Every, we're grill steaks. Every, everybody has the their their weak points, right? And it's not about having you eliminate red meat. It's about having you limit red meat. So it's uh, that's what we're aiming for here. Well, sometimes I think I'm doing, I'm being healthy. And, uh, I bought some pomegranate juice. Of course, I didn't flip it around with this little jar and I flipped around and I thought it was a misprint on the label. It said 51 grams of sugar, 51 grams in pomegranate juice. So I'm like, well, I guess I take like a sip every week for the next 12 weeks or I throw it away. But my daughter said, that's okay. That's not processed sugar. But anyway, uh, it still sounded like a lot to me, but I was just curious, you know, if they have apps and stuff like that use because I forget and I don't pay attention. You know, I might have some, I don't eat any sweets or anything for breakfast or whatever, but in the morning, you know, I might have whatever mm -hmm. as a snack and then something. And then one day I noticed it was the sugar was kind of adding up. I think that's kind of a downfall, but anyway, I definitely appreciate your information. I'll, I'll check out the uh, information on the website. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And Robert, you need protein. So I would say don't completely get rid of your red meat, especially when you're looking at the hormone changes, one of the things that, that Amplify will teach you is what are good and other proteins that I think people aren't thinking about red meat as one, but there's a lot of other plant-based things that you can add. So I, I, the practical side of Amplify is great because I think that is to your point, you know, flipping over a label and going, oh my gosh, what, how do I read the label? And, and the labels have changed a lot and the labels are better to do things like added sugar, but you've got to like, start to flip it over so it's it's a process <laughs> so I good for not, you for going to the gym though for sure I not to overthink it you know now my daughter's got me looking at red dye and stuff like that and i'm like oh. i don't overthink it because sometimes i just gotta eat crap for my uh you know endorphins or whatever but anyway <laughs> uh, I, I you can drive that. yourself crazy with too you know for with being you know going overboard right, and right. as sammy says amplify is about okay well let's Let's really talk about the major things that you can do, uh, and uh, and then you know some of the things that you're just going to have to work on a little bit over time. Okay. Thank you very much. I think one of the benefits people forget about eating clean is that you feel better. And I've had friends that came back and said, "I I didn't think I I didn't realize I'd feel better." Yeah, yeah. Right. and you don't feel like like around like the holidays, I get to feeling like crap, and it's because of the food I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why do I do that? I retire, I think, oh, I'm not going to do that this year. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hit stop recording. I think we've got some great stuff. We, we can continue the discussion. We'll hit stop.